Once upon a time, I lived in New York City, and it wasn't always a fairy tale, and it wasn't always pretty, but I had good friends, a good fortune, and we dreamed about fame and success. Welcome back to more slimes from Slime Rodeo on the Bay with your host, Sasha. Just kidding. Um, but really, let's hop right into these slimes. This is the second video of my slime haul. I know it's late, but better late than never. We're hopping right in with two more from Catherine, Unicorn Horn Slime, who I love. This slime took me by surprise. It looks plain and you don't expect it, but it's actually a super great texture. I take it with me a lot of places because it's easily holdable when you're on the subway or on a bus, and it smells really, really good. I am so glad that she suggested I take this one. I took her suggestions because obviously she's the creator and she was correct. Not to overshadow her other slimes, but Peachy Queen is a queen. Catherine outdid herself with this one. It is a peach nectar scent to my nose. It doesn't smell like a fake peach. It smells like peach juice, if you will. It's so good. It's a really clay heavy butter slime, but it's not dense. It's extremely light. And this is another one that I've been carrying around with me. Easy to play with on the subway. It's such a bright and beautiful color. I. I'm obsessed with it. I've been trying to make it hold on for dear life because once it dies, I am going to be so sad, but I'm sure it will soon because I've been playing with it non-stop since Slime Rodeo. Also, can we talk about this spread? I mean, come on, girl. This is too good. Next up is Lady Liberty from the NYC Slimery. We joked at Slime Rodeo on the Bay that two people with accounts based and things in New York had to go all the way to Florida to meet each other, but it was a joy to meet her. And I believe she said that this ice cream sandwich style DIY clay slime was inspired by my ice cream sandwiches. So I was super excited when she gave it to me. It actually smells really good and it mixes to a really beautiful color. I love that it's based on the Statue of Liberty. I love that she has an account based on New York. I can't say enough good things about her and this slime. It was so, so great to meet you. I know I've said it before, but I absolutely adore when you guys make slimes specific to me. Iridescent Glue did just that. She made this slime to look like my logo, the colors of it, and I just think that that's the sweetest thing ever. It's a really, really smooth and wonderful butter slime. It's gorgeous. I had so much fun mixing the colors, and I just want to say again, it really touches my heart that you guys put so much thought into the gifts that you guys give us at the different conventions. It's just just it's so sweet i i don't know what to say other than that it's just so sweet next up we have a couple of slimes from my girl rachel at bookshelf slimes she heavily suggested that i take magic school bus because i love tea and sugar so much her other sugar scrub slime and she was not wrong it's so fun if you read the book series when you were a kid or if you still are a kid I highly recommend this slime. I read all the books, I watched the show, I love it. And it's definitely reminiscent of Miss Frizzle and how she takes the kids on crazy adventures with all the different sparkles in it. It smells delicious, it's a beautiful color. I was really happy that she suggested it. And if you haven't had one of her sugar scrubs yet, highly, highly suggest both this one and tea and sugar, best tea scent ever. This is Aromatherapy. It's one of her peeps slimes. She has an entire line of different really, really soft and decadent butter slimes based on marshmallow peeps. And this one smells like aromatherapy lavender. It's really relaxing and the color is absolutely gorgeous. Jumping right on over to muggle slimes, I was blown away when I saw this slime. Cauldron cake 
is stunning. When she was making them on showing videos on her story, I just couldn't take it. It was so beautiful. I knew I had to have one and it did not disappoint. Mixing these colors was just uh, pure joy, relaxation, wonder, and it smells so good. If you don't know by now, Muggle Slimes make some of the best slimes in the community and this is no exception. It's phenomenal. Last but certainly not least is the signature slime from Becky at Lazy Slime. I love her slimes, I love her logo and her hollow stickers and how amazingly thick her clear slimes are. Look at this, I mean, phenomenal, truly. This one I don't know the scent of because it is her signature scent, so it's a secret blend, but I can tell you it smells good really really nice it's a light slightly perfumey type scent but not overwhelming and definitely not like grandma perfume it's like good perfume you know and it is simply gorgeous the stars the hollow everything about her clear slimes it's just a visual treat which is why obviously i'm playing with it super slowly but that's just because i was mesmerized by it so that is all for this video. I know it was a lot less slimes than the last video, but I just wanted to make sure that they were out here for you guys to see. I know I'm behind on videos, but I promise that I will catch up this weekend and you will have the rest from the other conventions soon. Thank you all so much for coming by. Have a great day.